Hello, welcome back to Einstein Mechanics. Today we are looking at a special form of integration. And let's see how we are going to go by this special form of integration. We've already tackled some aspects of integration, and this will be a different case. Now, let's look at this special form. If we have integration in this form, sine ax cos bx with respect to what x how do we integrate such functions so for example if i'm to evaluate integral of cos 2x sine 4x dx how do i integrate this what do we see from here we can see that the angles are different this is ax and this is bx. Here we have 2x and we have 4x with respect to what x. How do we do it? This type of integration comes with a special integral approach. Are we okay? So before we can do this, we must know some identities. Some trick identities which can help us to integrate such forms. So first, let's pay attention to this identities one. We can expand true sine A cos B as sine AB sine A plus B plus sine A minus B. So anytime we have a question in such form, sine A, so sine AX, the angle, cos B, cos BX, we can add, your or we can modify this question to, to sine A cos B, and we can replace it with this expression. Are we okay? The second identity, if we have two cos A, and sine b we can also expand this as sine a plus b minus sine a minus b this is also one identity that we can also do very good and let's look at the third identity if we have two cos a sine b this are in terms of sine if you are going to replace this with the sine this is how we are going to do it what about cos so the same way two cos a sine b if we are going to replace it with cos this is going to be we are going to get cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so this and that are how we can replace this. And the fourth one, if we have two sine A cos B and we want to replace it with cos instead of this sine, how do we go by it? So two sine A cos B, if we want to go by the cos approach, that is going to be a negative cos A plus B and plus a cos a minus b these are the identities we are going to use for this special form of integration so you must get them off head how to expand them with sine or with cos are we good we will look at example so for example if we have integral sine 3x cos 5x dx. We can check through this identity. We can get something similar to this sine a cos b, and we will replace it with either the sine or we are going to replace it with the cos. Are we good? And we will be able to solve. So straight away, let's take an example. So example one. Evaluate integral of 2 sine 6x cos 
through x dx. So we have to evaluate or solve this integral. How do we go by it? From the identities, first we we'll check are the angles the same? This is 6x, this is 2x. So we cannot do any substitution here because the angles are not the same. We will check through the identity which one can we use. This 2 sine 6x is similar to this first identity. Are we okay? A certain 2 sine, a certain angle A, cos a certain angle B. And it is the same thing here. So this can be expressed as integral this. We can replace it with this square angle A. So here, where the A is equal to the first angle, 6x, and our B is equal to the second angle, 2x. Is that true? So this will give us sine, that's A plus B, 6x plus 2x plus sine a minus b sine a 6x minus 2x is that okay so we can simplify this and get sine 8x the x so plus here we are going to get sine 4x so the x. Let me use the integral to affect each of them this way. So this integral is affecting this, it is affecting this with respect to what the x. And now we can integrate this function. So integral of sine 8x dx, this is going to give us a negative 1 on 8 cos 8x plus the integral of this is also going to give us a negative 1 on 4 cos 4x. This is integration, so plus a certain c. So finally, our answer is going to be 1, negative 1 on 8 cos 8x, negative 1 on 4 cos 4x plus our c. And we can do negative 1 on 8 into bracket cos 8x plus 2 cos 4x plus our c. And this is the final answer for this integral. Are we okay? So the best thing is to get the identities in mind so that you can replace this with the right identity. So let's look at the example two. So example two, find integral of sine 3x cos 5x dx. How do we solve this question? So from the identities, this is similar to an identity we know. Are we good? We know that one identity which says 2 sine a cos b is equal to sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. So this looks quite similar, just that there's a 2 here, there's no 2 here. Therefore, I can say that this identity or this question can be written as if I want to introduce this 2 so that I can replace all with this, I can introduce a half integral of 2 sine 3x cos 5x dx. So this 2 can take care of this. I've done nothing to the question, just that I've made it, made it in such a way that it will look like the identity where I can replace it with that. So now I can solve my question. This half is coming integral. This whole thing can be replaced by sine a. But here our a is 3x plus b, which is 5x. Are we okay? 5x plus our sine a, 3x minus b 5x 
into bracket dx this way. How we go? So we can simplify it. This is half integral of sine 3 plus 5. That would be 8x. And this plus sine negative 2x. All with respect to what? dx. We can further do something about this. This is equal to half integral sine 8x. This negative 2 of the angle can come out as negative sine, then this will be positive 2x. Watch it out. This negative is coming out as a negative sine, positive 2x. So I want to integrate now. This is the same as half integral of sine 8x minus half integral of sine 2x. They are all with respect to what? The x. So if I'm to integrate half sine 8x, that is going to give me, I have my half multiplying, that is going to be a negative. 1 on 8 cos 8x. Are you okay? And I have my negative half here. Negative half by sine 2x. That is also going to be negative 1 on 2 cos 2x. Integration plus my c. This can be further expanded as negative 1 on 16 cos. 8x plus 1 on 4 cos 2x plus c. Are we okay? And this is the final answer for that. Therefore, the integral of sine 3x cos 5x dx is giving us negative 1 on 16 cos 8x plus 1 on 4 cos 2x plus c, and you are good to go. So what is important in this episode is your identity. Once you know them, you can move. So the same way if you want to replace this with the second identity, which deals with the cos, you can also replace it with the cos, and your answer will also be in terms of sign here. And as you are correct for that, thank you for watching this episode.